تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آورس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی آصف حنیف فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر ول لانچ دا بگیسٹ ری پلانٹیشن کیمپین ان دا ہسٹری آف دا کنٹری ٹو ڈے پلانٹنگ اراؤنڈ تھری پوائنٹ فائیو ملین سیپلنگس ان اے ڈے اکراس دا کنٹری سری لنکن پرائم منسٹر ہیز ایکسٹر ڈیزائر ٹو فردر اسٹرینتھن بائی لیٹرل ٹائز ود پاکستان President elect of the United Nations General Assembly arrives in Islamabad today on a two-day visit to Pakistan. International leaders will hold talks today to raise aid for Beirut after the massive explosion. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan will launch the biggest tree plantation campaign in the history of the country today, targeting around 3.5 million trees in a day across the country. In a tweet, Prime Minister invited everyone to join him today in planting trees all over Pakistan. He asked the parliamentarians, ministers, chief ministers and Tiger Force volunteers to participate in the biggest tree planting campaign. Over a million volunteers of Prime Minister's Tiger Force will also plant trees as part of the 10 billion tree tsunami initiative. Meanwhile, the Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Senator Shibli Faraz, has urged the people to make Prime Minister's tree plantation campaign a success as planting tree is sunnah of Holy Prophet On the other hand, Special Assistant on Youth Affairs, Usman Dar, has requested the leaders and members of opposition parties to join the national plantation drive by putting aside their political differences and for the sake of national interest. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa thanked Prime Minister Imran Khan for his phone call to congratulate him on victory in the recently held elections. In a tweet, Rajapaksa said he is looking forward to mutual high-level visits between the two countries to strengthen their friendly bilateral ties. Earlier on Friday, Prime Minister Imran Khan had telephoned Rajapaksa and congratulated him on his resounding victory in general elections on August 5th and hoped that bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries would be further strengthened during the new term as Prime Minister. President-elect of United Nations General Assembly, Walkan Bosker, arrives in Islamabad today on a two-day visit to Pakistan. According to a statement issued by Foreign Office, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi will have wide-ranging talks with Pre- President-elect Walkan Bosker on issues relating to three main pillars of the United Nations' work, including peace and security development and human rights. The UNGA President-elect will also call on Prime Minister Imran Khan. Tiger Force Day is being observed today. A nationwide tree plantation drive on the day is being led by the Tiger Force. Earlier, Prime Minister Imran Khan had announced to celebrate Tiger Force Day on August 9th. Punjab Chief Minister Sardar Usman Buzdar has launched the tree plantation campaign on the occasion of Tiger Force Day by planting a tree sapling at Artificial Forest, Miyawaki at Shadman Market Park in Lahore today. Talking to newsmen on this occasion, the Chief Minister said that the incumbent government is committed to complete the target of planting 10 billion trees in the country by 2023 in line with the vision of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Kashmiris and Canadians of Pakistani origin organized a car rally to express solidarity with besieged Kashmiris on the first anniversary of illegal revocation of the status of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir in Canada. In spite of COVID-19 situation, a huge number of protesters joined the car rally to condemn Indian atrocities in IIOJK and to highlight the grave human rights violations. Meanwhile, in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has called to complete shutdown on Tuesday to pay glowing tributes to senior Hurriyat leader Sheikh Abdul Aziz. International leaders will hold talks today to raise aid for Beirut after massive explosion. The virtual conference is set up by France and United Nations. Representatives from European Union member states, China, Russia, Egypt, Jordan and UK will also take part and with many others invited to attend. Today marks 75 years since United States unleashed the world's second atomic bomb attack on the city of Nagasaki. Japan is commemorating the 75th anniversary of bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6 and August 9 this year. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streamings of our news bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.